Toronto Police Services Board is on the verge of approving a review that could ultimately lead to changes in the way missing person cases are investigated. Mayor John Tory called for an independent review after Toronto Police faced criticism for their handling of the missing persons cases that eventually led to accused serial killer Bruce MacArthur. The board is set to make a decision tomorrow and if approved, it could cost the city $2.5 million. Where would that money go? Well, it would go to uh, compensating the reviewer and their staff to designing these community consultations. Uh, and in a review like this, you're going over tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of documents of papers. And so you need a strong team of people who are able to do that. Shakir Rahim is one of four community representatives appointed to a working group tasked with determining what a review of Toronto's missing persons investigations would look like. The board member of Toronto's Alliance for South Asian AIDS Prevention says the money they're asking the police services board to approve is in line with a similar review of police conduct during the G20. That costs taxpayers nearly $2 million. Raheem believes an assessment of police protocols in missing persons investigations would help close the gaps many say exist for some of the city's most vulnerable. One of the things that we heard in the community uh, both before the working group and during our participation is that there's a sense that if you walk into a police station and you're someone who's from a vulnerable community, a marginalized community, uh, let's say a queer person, a person of color, a trans person, a sex worker, um, you may not be listened to in the same way uh, that if you're a person who comes from a prominent part of the city. And that's a big issue because that's where an officer may decide, I'm going to put resources into this or I'm not going to put resources into this. That was a concern many in Toronto's village voiced in the case of eight missing men eventually linked to accused serial killer Bruce MacArthur. Seven had ties to the village and six were people of color. And there was similar outcry over the murder of Tess Ritchie. The 22-year-old's body was found by her mother, just steps away from where the young woman was reported missing in the village. Two officers are now facing charges of misconduct after a police investigation alleged the two failed to conduct a thorough search. We want every person to receive the same treatment, no matter who they are and where they come from. The proposed review would last about 15 months and would be conducted in consultation with a number of community groups and could end up with a number of recommendations for police. If approved at tomorrow's police services board meeting, the money would have to come from the city. Mayor John Tory has said he is committed to securing the funding to make that happen.